also is still unavailable for the rest of this drive because this drive is very shaky drive so hold the steering wheel to drive manually so it doesn't let me drive uh, autopilot here so this is it this is it because this road is Thanks for joining me and welcome back for another Tesla testing. I'm starting to love this car actually. It's one of the few cars that I think I'm gonna I like it. Right now I got this autopilot supervised one, so we're gonna try that. And the way it works, you put your address on and uh, all you gotta do is just press this button here and hold it and after you hold it it will go to autopilot that's it right now it's on autopilot but it's a supervised so you have a camera is here watching you so you don't do goofy stuff right now there are like quite a few cars parked in I mean yeah, they park in front of me. So let's see how is it gonna do this. It's going to slow, it's going to slow, it's going to slow, and the stupid guy is outside the, I mean, come on. Um, so let's see. It's going to do good. Very easy. This doesn't mean that you know you can sit in the car and do so many uh, stuff in it so you just got to be very careful uh, of uh, and pay attention to everything oops yeah this is where the blind spot is and it didn't see it because I'm making a turn on a pretty much a highway and in this highway people are really crazy so there are flaw about this matter this uh, autopilot now we're going to put it back on autopilot now it's on autopilot again uh, so it's not really a hundred percent autopilot you know because you got so much things going on here and it goes fast actually you know it goes faster than when I drive the car uh, now it's gonna make a turn let's see and it does make the turns really sharp I mean it's a very sharp turn it makes so now it's making the turn there we go there we go there we go that's it the speed zone a speed limit is 35 miles so it's going 35 miles right now right on the dot 35 miles making turns sometimes you can uh, just check your email if you want to but I doubt it you should do that because that's where the that's where the problem is it doesn't see the potholes it does not cover the potholes
yeah it says auto steer unavailable for the rest of this drive because this drive is very shaky drive so whole steering will to drive manually so it doesn't let me drive uh, autopilot here so this is it this is it because this road is crazy road and it has lots of potholes that's why it doesn't let you drive now I can reset it yeah it, I can't even reset it says autopilot unavailable because it went to a uh, lots of uh, potholes so what I can do I can end the trip and go to navigation again put the trip activate the trip again okay activate the trip again let's try it let's try it no no it doesn't so I'm done with the autopilot deal so this is this is where the problem with the autopilot is one of the problem is lots of potholes on the road and car sees so many goofy stuff so that lady was naked almost walking and that's what happens you know it's not gonna let you drive it, it just won't let you drive the only way it's gonna be letting me drive is I think I have to stop full stop and then then reactivate so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna further down the road a little bit down the road we're gonna full stop and see what happens uh, see what happens okay so let's see where we're gonna stop there's no car coming behind me but this road is really narrow there's not that many places to stop so I gotta keep going I gotta keep going these are the fast and furious drivers that they are passing in this little road that I go work me guys bear with me on this matter this address and then we'll let these other guys go stop turn off the car and get back in it's going to reset itself but right now now and in this road i shouldn't even do an autopilot because this, i got these bikers are going and it's a bad idea 
very bad idea. Uh, so overall, I think, you know what? Autopilot is not good for roads like this, maybe just the regular roads, you know, highway and just the regular street, not this uh, too much variation on this road, you know. You gotta be really paying attention on this road. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, yesterday I thought I could give it like seven out of 10 to the autopilot, but looks like I'm gonna go and change my mind and give it like five out of 10. Five out of 10. Anyway, this is the autopilot, so it's not really a big deal uh, the way they are talking about this autopilot. It still is not there because they don't have enough data and technology about running the autopilot. It's, this thing is not as easy as we can think about it. See, uh, it has to act right away. And it basically, I think, when the machine starts working, which is the AI, that's when autopilot is gonna work the best. Not at this time, because right now it needs to communicate, come back, it's not thinking by itself, you know? And uh, it has some summer stuff in there, I don't know what the hell is going on. But it's the future. At the end of the day, this is the future. This is what's gonna happen. You're, I mean, I don't think I'll see this in my lifetime, but uh, young crowds, you know, in like 2045, 2050, uh, people are gonna sit in their car and just uh, don't drive themselves. You know, they have their own chauffeur. I mean, the car is gonna be your chauffeur and drive it for you. I mean, it, that's just gonna happen. Well, thanks for watching. It was not a, what I was expecting but it was a test that we had to do it and we did it and thank you very much for joining me have a great day bye bye